first night while camping in, in a Croatia. while yeah i just really hope we don't get a knock tonight never had a knock yet never had a knock yet but then we've never well camped anywhere it's illegal we're alan and Saj, and we live full time in our converted van apollo we're road tripping our way through europe discovering what van life on the continent has to offer Welcome back to the vlog everyone. It's a lovely sunny day in October in Croatia and we've got a bit of a different plan haven't we for the next couple of weeks. We have yeah we're going to wild camp. We're going to try and wild camp. Yeah can you wild camp in Croatia? <laughs> that is the question. People do, people don't. We haven't yet. We will now do so. Yeah we've heard stories haven't we about police issuing fines and moving people on at stupid o'clock in the morning. Yeah it's definitely illegal, it's definitely big fines but it is out of season. And I think they're more tolerant when you're out of season. So we're going to give it a go. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. And we're going to be respectful and don't park in other people's places like locals and just, uh, yeah, follow the rules of the road. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like the wild camping rules, like leave no trace. Okay. Because the rule is definitely don't wild camp. It's illegal. Yeah, true. So we're not going to follow the rules <laughs> at all. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I am alive, and I soar. Still I run toward the wind. Let the child and draw me in, cause I want more. Oh, we are all. Looking for adventure. We are all. Alright, that was confusing. Did you try and argue you hadn't paid? <laughs> Actually, yeah. it was the last one. It was the last one, not this one. I was like, no, I'm so sorry, I paid him fully. He was like, no, you haven't. And then the email makes it look like that's what you've paid, but it's just the amount, like the total amount. Awkward. Awkward. I'm glad he gave the passports back because I was like, oh yeah, our passports. Yeah, thanks, buddy. So how much was that then? 117 pounds 86. 117. Yeah. For a week. And that's not including the 50 euros deposit. Wow. So it's like what 100 and 150 quid all in with the washing and the drying as well. We've got to make this wild camping work, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. little stop off there for another little lunch in the car park. Got the milk in the front because I couldn't fit it all into the fridge. And now we're on our way to this park for night. I'm going to try and find a bit of a quicker way because it wants to take us the long way around. But it's like there's quite a lot going on here. Bakeries and shops and what not. See what's down here. Okay, so it's ten pounds. Well, just over hundred kuna a That's day. Hundred and fifty kuna. That's seventeen quid then. That's basically campsite money. Oh yeah, this is it. You can see a van there. I think that's even a Citroen relay. German. Then again, Saj always looks quite German. Well, I've had a look round. There's no one here. It's all closed up for the season. And no one really around to ask either. So we might get the knock tonight and ask for some money, but who knows? It's worth a risk because it seems quite nice here. There's a beach and places to go. So we'll do that. We've decided on this one got a nice downwards camber for the bed and it's relatively flat. 
Alan's just bringing her around now. Wild camping update for you. So far so good. No one's come around to take any money. It's a bit like being on a campsite, but without the campsiteness. Like it's clearly a proper base for motorhomes and vans and stuff. There's two other um, vans here now, but that's it. It's really chill. Sound has been bitten a lot. Five times. One mosquito in like five bites. Ten minutes. They absolutely love your blood. Honestly. Yeah, the mosquitoes in Croatia are quite bad actually, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They've been bitten here more than anywhere else. Mosquitoes are evil though because they're the kind of bug that when you're looking for them. They can be biting your face. <laughs> they can be biting your face? They don't seem to mind me. Luckily I've got my tiger balm. It's the only thing that really actually works. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to go for a walk then. See what we can see. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we can see. <laughs> We're laughing because when you watch yourself back after filming yourself for eight months, you realise you say the same thing quite a lot. Well, let's I'll say go that. and see what let's we can see. Let's see what we can see. But that's van life, you know? going to see what we can see. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's a really nice walk along the beach to the Riviera. The Riviera. The Riviera. Ooh. There's a little restaurant just there. I was going to see if the uh, if the bathrooms are open, I like the same. Yeah, but well, I'm not touching the handle. <laughs> no. So this is the thing about being here out of season. It's all got a slightly weird feel. It's all kind of closed down. The bars all kind of shut up. But the restaurant back there is open. Yeah, a lot of places we've been to have been like that, just sort of half open. It's weird, isn't it? It's really abandoned almost. Yeah. They proper board them up and fence everything off as well, don't they? Yeah. yeah. But it looks like a nice spot. I mean, look at the beach. Yeah, it's really nice. Nice little beach. It's a bit cold for swimming though. There's always little cute little bits like this in Croatia. Like you can clearly put something on the top here and then put your lilos or chairs here and then the sort of the cow. Yeah. Oh cool, she's got the glorious mountains in the back there. What's that? Amadeus. Looks kind of like a nice one. Yeah. I wonder when they reopen. March? Yeah. Well, what can you get? Pizza. All the usual really, grilled fish, pizzas, grilled chicken, lasagna. How nice is this? We've now walked all the way around to the harbour at Makasaka, Makasaka, 
which is very nice. Sort of in between Split and Dubrovnik. I believe it's the middle of October. And the weather's like this. I'm in a skirt and a t-shirt. I think it's raining at that. <laughs> a few uh, steps back from the harbour. It's a lovely little kind of Venetian street. Mm, lovely. I wonder how old it is. A couple of hundred years? It's pretty old. We've decided to stop for some cake and coffee. Looks good. Yours looks pretty cool. Chocolate orange cake. Nice. Well then, give us the verdict. Really good actually. Nice. Tastes like um, Jaffa cakes. Nice. Yeah. And I bought the macarana cake, the um, sort of dish of the local area. Have you locked us up? I have, we are secure. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Being cancelled so far, and now while camping, I'm like, lock the doors! <laughs> <laughs> First night while camping in, in a Croatia. while, yeah. I just really hope we don't get a knock tonight. Never had a knock yet. Never had a knock yet. But then we've never while camped anywhere it's illegal. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. More because I just can't be bothered to be like, no, it's fine, we'll move on then. Also, the fine's like 70 euros, I think. Oh well, we'll see. Fingers crossed everyone. We'll make it through the night. <laughs> It'll be fun. Good morning YouTube. We survived our first night while camping in Croatia without a single hitch or issue. It's all good. No vehicles coming up and down, no police checks or anything. Yeah, it's a good spot. Definitely worth uh, thinking of out of season. Just been joined too by this awesome overlanding rig. Look. Look at that monster. Awesome. Got to start the day with a cup of tea. See you anyway. Just moved the van trying to get some sun. Because the van's been under the trees for a few days at campsites and various places. You know, we haven't had much sun on the solar panel, so it's a little bit low on the old juice with the laptops working sort of 24 seven. So try and get a bit more sun, be good. There's loads of other vans here now. There's quite a few people that have obviously discovered this spot. I did leave a very positive review on Park for Night. And uh, yeah, it seemed like all of a sudden all these people were arriving, but I'm sure it's just coincidence. But you see a, you see a good review on Park for Night, especially somewhere like Croatia where you can't really wild camp and you think, yes, let's do this. But so far, wild camping in Croatia seems all right. I've not seen any police or anything like that. So out of season, certainly it's quite relaxed. So the plan for today is to try and get a run in as always so I need to get that done yesterday it was so windy running didn't really happen in fact last night was really windy too the wind in Croatia is quite a thing it feels sort of very gusty and yeah sort of really shaking the van so yeah need a haircut too Sandra's going to do me a haircut she's got a cold at the moment so you might have to put up with a bit more of me today but yeah, she's not feeling great. Not COVID, fear not, but just a sort of, well, it's just a cold really. She'll live. I love this little green thing over there. Couple of young folk in there. Living the van life dream. Although it looks ruddy cold to be fair. They're really small, those things. 
We've got our um, overlanding rig just behind that red van there as well, which is a serious beast. Although we managed to reverse it into a tree and uh, damage his bike rack the other day. We were on a chat with them, but there we are. Rumple Tours, if you follow them. Check out Rumple Tours. And there's a couple over here, and they've both got kids in these tiny little vans, so that's pretty hardcore. Van life with kids. No siree. All power to them, though. I just don't know I could do that. It's hard enough being two fully grown adults. Let's see how Saj is doing. Are you alright? Yes. I'm dying. <clears throat> I'm not really dying. <laughs> Are you still going to cut my hair today? Yeah. Barber Saj. Nice. You're off to for a run? I am. How yeah. many miles are you going to do today? Two miles warm up. Yep. And I've got three sets of two kilometres at sub 40 10k race pace and then another two miles to cool down. Weird. So you do the warm up and cool down in miles and the speed in kilometres? Well, it's just like a really traditional kind of session. Oh, right, okay. So that's two kilometres at six 28 minute miling. Well, you have fun. Thanks. Yeah. I might use the bathroom first. Okay. <laughs> Again. Again. Shut up. Alright. Alright. We um, need to change the slope. Like, it's so steep where yeah. we parked that even sitting on the throne is quite challenging. <laughs> right. See you in a bit then. See you in a bit. Oh, back from the run. I really hate intervals. It's such an uncomfortable pace to try and run at. Right, I want to have a shower now, or at least a sink wash, but we're a little bit low on water. Uh, so I need to sort that out. We've got some water in the blue tanks, which I keep as like a backup. So I'm going to fill up with those, I think. Nice. These little magnetic hooks, by the way, are a bit of a lifesaver. Being the van is magnetic, it's amazing what you can use them for. Well, that's it, jobs are good. That should keep us going for, I don't know, three or four days, I reckon? But then we're gonna have to find more water. Right, everyone, I think that's us done. This one here has got a, a proper cold brewing now, haven't you? So, not enjoying life at the moment. We're gonna head to Dubrovnik probably tomorrow, so next week's vlog. Game of Thrones country, Dubrovnik. If you like our videos, give us a little comment, give us a subscribe, yeah. A few people have been asking about how they could potentially support the channel further, so we've set up a little buy us a coffee. The link is in the description below if you fancy that. Great, if you don't, fine. Yeah, buy us a coffee. Thanks everyone for watching and we will see you next week. <laughs>